Yeah, I'm a dyspraxic, which means that uh, I suffer from, from poor balance and uh, coordination. Uh, I'm also uh, dyslexic, which means I've got a, a fear of dying. And um, I'm a hypochondriac, which means I can get my words mixed up. Um, so yeah, this dyspraxia is, is a fucking awful thing to have. It's kind of like we've all got little spirit levels inside our bodies, and whereas yours was made by Black and Decker, mine was made by Niddles. That's, that's the kind of ilk we're going for here, yeah. Um, it fucking sucks. I actually, um, I've, got, I've got a girlfriend who's uh, dyspraxic as well. What the fucking chances? Um, <laughs> I was so happy when I found out, you, you have no idea. And um, what, what I'd like to talk to you about, well, we actually met at uh, Dyspraxia Anonymous meeting. Uh, which is, it's, uh, it's a centre for dyspraxics to get together and say how they're getting on with things. And it's similar to Alcoholics Anonymous, but we wobble in and they wobble out, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's good fun. And uh, one thing I really want to share with you is, is uh, the toils of dyspraxic sex. Because, uh, I, as I say, I, I've got a girlfriend, and, and she's lucky enough to oblige letting me have sex every now and again. Um, not as often as I like, obviously, but enough wine down her, and she's up for it. Um, so yeah, um, the problem with dyspraxic sex principally is it tends to laugh about three times longer than the average sex. Because it's sort of a hit and miss ratio. Left a bit, right a bit, in you go. Up a bit, down a bit, Bob's your uncle. Armpit, belly button, love tunnel, wee. Ah, good night. She dumped me after that. Um, yeah, she said uh, she couldn't stand the black eyes anymore when we had blowjobs. <laughs>